So one of my favorite things to do to get inspiration is to take a sample and strip something from the sample to help me uh, get started and building. Some people just like to use a loop and that's fine too. But here's a sample from Cymatic and we're gonna use vocal samples. Turn so. up the music, just let me get wild tonight. All right, that's at 130 BPM. We drag it turn into- Turn up the music, just- Okay, you turned up the music. Um, so we drag it in. This is about two bars of vocals. Of course, you could just chop it up and do some other interesting things with it. But there's also the possibility that you want the melody from it and the MIDI. So we can convert melody to a new MIDI track. And now we have this. Now that's an Ableton instrument. It don't sound good if I'm, you know, in my personal opinion. So I'm not gonna really use this. I'm gonna use these rows. Oops, hold on. It's very reverby sounding. Let's try um let's try this one. All right, that's fine. You can pick whatever you want. All we're gonna do is take the MIDI notes and put it up here, get rid of this portion. And now we're gonna listen to it. So now you have something that sounds, in my opinion, really good. And I think the key, even though it did say D sharp minor, he might be a little different than what it's saying. Because here's D sharp minor. Well, no, it fits D sharp minor. Okay, never mind. Here we go, watch. Okay, so now you have something that you can start working with. Of course, you can do other stuff with this, chop pieces of it to make it a little bit different. But it's a quick way, if you have maybe like a vocal track that you find that you kind of like the melody in it, you can borrow that melody. Now you can do this with the drums or the bass rather too. If you had this, uh, a bass sample, you could get the <clears throat> notes from the bass sample, put it on like Trillion or whatever you have to do your bass and borrow the bass from it. So it's just a different way of sampling, but I like it because it can sometimes stimulate other ideas and uh, workflows and that's kind of what makes using the DAW is unique is that you're not strapped to one thing. You can kind of jump around a little bit and that way you don't get too bored. All right. So this is going to be a quick video. I'm going to end it here, but just wanted to show you a little technique with the vocals you can do. I like to do this sometimes with a saxophone if I'm not feeling it or if I'm playing the same thing over and over and over. Find a saxophone sample, like a solo sample and then borrow the MIDI from it. And when you take the MIDI, you can create some uh, new ideas from it that help keep you flowing and going. All right, that's it for this video. I'm